We're literally either gonna be the fucking hugest band in the world or we're gonna crash and burn in a ball of flames. Tracy! Every time I call you on the... Cassette released their first album, Welcome Back to Earth, to rave reviews, Esama for best album, and six major national hits. You know, a lot of the bands that have been successful, um, nobody really knows you know, why? The first time I met John Savage, I felt a little bit like I'd been mugged by a homeless version of Elvis Costello. The first time I saw anything to do with cassette uh, was their poster for their album. It was just this woman's legs. Constant personality clashes within the band and a lack of direction for the next album means heads must roll. Mark, basically in an essence, you need to change your personality. You know, I, I can't change my ways. You know, you, you know, I'm too old for that. When I read that there was existing tensions already between John and Jane and Nathan and Anne. Compared to the way that the first album was written, we really wanted to be in a space where we could all bring in our ideas. John wanted to write the best fucking album in the world, and um, so did Nathan. In terms of radio, you've got to have like a great, catchy, Pop song. Muso knows that the recipe to sort of getting recognition and some form of success is to have songs on radio. What do you think of the band? <laughs> hmm. I like rock. I just sometimes think it's like um, soft cock rock. The ride has been so intense. Yeah. And also, I mean, in their defense, I'm not the easiest guy to be in a band with. <laughs> 